What's going on YouTube, Robocast Gaming here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a quick little tutorial on how to make your desktop look super simple, clean, and nice, kind of like mine is. It's pretty, it's pretty much empty for the most part, except for like the basic necessities that I need. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to make your desktop look nice. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so starting out with tip number one, uh, it's just a simple recommendation that you probably already know about, but it's basically just a recommendation to remove all the pointless things that you don't need on your desktop. So if you have like 50 notepad documents, either delete them, or if you need them, move them to your documents folder in your library. Because if you just have all these random notepads and stuff sitting on your desktop, it looks really bad and it kind of just takes away from everything. So either my recommendation, uh, put them into a separate folder in your documents, or just delete whatever you don't need. I know that was really simple, but I just kind of wanted to add that in there. But now we're going to go ahead and move on to tip number two. So tip number two is probably the most important out of all of the tips, and that is to have a nice looking background. Now, I mean, you may like you may like your favorite little Razer logo background or whatever, but try to pick something simple, because if you have something like with a lot of stuff going on, a lot of different colors and stuff, it's going to make your desktop look nowhere near as good as if you have something simplistic. Now, personally, I have to say that this doesn't really look as good as what I had before, but again, that is just a personal preference. Now, what I do have to say is that if you're going for like a clean, modern looking setup, I would recommend going with like a clean, modern looking wallpaper like the one I had before because this one kind of is just like a little bit too busy for what's going on like with my setup right now. It doesn't really match anything. And as I said before, my personal preference is just that like modern, simple wallpapers with not much happening look a lot better than these busy ones. So tip number three has to do with my icons. Now, as you guys probably noticed, my icons have no names on them, which personally I think looks a lot better than having names on them. So I'm going to show you guys how to change them to where the names disappear. So for example, we have two icons here that have names on them, and we obviously can tell what they are, so we're going to go ahead and remove the names to make them look a lot cleaner. It's actually really simple. The first thing that you want to do is right click on the icon you want to change, hit rename, hold down the alt key on your keyboard, and type in 255. So basically what that does is it removes the characters with like an invisible character basically. So alt 255 is an alt code that gives you an invisible character which counts as a character but it's invisible. So you can basically name this however many alt codes you want and it's still going to be invisible. So just go ahead and do that with the rest of your icons and it'll look a lot better. Now one thing I do have to say is the fact that whenever you change these you may not know what they are. So I would recommend only changing them for the icons that you know what they are. Like if you don't know what an icon is I'll show you what to do with it after this. Now, if you have some icons that either you don't want, you don't know what to do with, or you can't rename, there is a solution for that. So let's say that you have these four icons here, and you need them at like a close access, and you don't really want to put them anywhere else, but also you don't really want them on your desktop. Don't worry, there is a solution for that, and it's actually pretty simple. So the first thing that you want to do is right click on your desktop, hit new, and hit folder, and once you get your folder you want to rename it with the alt255 thing to make it not have a name. Now simply just grab all your icons, drag them into the folder, and uh, you're good to go. So if you want to make your folder look even better, kind of like what I did with my YouTube folder here, again, it's a pretty simple thing to do. So in the description of this video, I will put a link to this website here called iconarchive.com slash category slash folder dash icons. So go ahead and click that link if you want to check this out. So basically what you want to do is you want to go on this website and find yourself a nice looking folder. Pick whatever goes with your desktop, pick whatever you like, it doesn't really matter to me. Just find yourself a nice looking folder on here. So for the example of this video, I'm just going to pick, uh... Let's pick one of these and let's say number one just for randomness. So what you want to do is click on the icon that you want and it'll pull up another page that says download PNG, download ICO, or download ICNS. What you want to do is click the one that says download ICO and then it'll download it to your computer. So once you have this downloaded, you want to move it to like a permanent location to make sure you don't delete it. Because if you end up deleting it, the folder will go back to its regular icon. So for my example, I'm just going to go ahead and move it to my documents folder just where I won't ever lose it. So now that you have your fancy new icon, what you want to do is right click on the folder, hit properties, go to the tab that says customize, click change icon, and then click on the button that says browse. Now you want to go to the location where you saved your icon, so again I put mine in documents, I'm going to scroll down, find the icon right here, and go ahead and select that. So now it'll show up in this little thing here, just hit ok, hit apply, and now you have yourself a nice little custom folder. It's definitely a nice little touch, it can make your desktop look a lot better, and it's something that I really like to do personally. And my final suggestion for today's video is to move your taskbar to a different location. So the taskbar is the thing at the bottom that has all your tabs open, and it's a pretty cool thing, but sometimes, I don't know, you may just want to change. 
If you want to move it around, it's pretty easy. All you want to do is right click on the taskbar and uncheck the box that says lock the taskbar. Once you do this, all you need to do is move it around freely wherever you want. You can put it on the top, you can put it on the side, you can put it on the left, you can put it on the right, you can put it wherever you want, but I would recommend putting it opposite from where all your icons are. So most likely your icons are on the left side, and all you need to do is place your taskbar over on the right side. I really like the look of this, but personally, I'm just used to it being at the bottom, so I leave it at the bottom, but this is definitely a nice look, and it can kind of make your desktop look finished. Okay, well, I hope these tips helped you guys out, and by the way, if you guys have any other tips for each other, please let me know in the comment section below. Once again, I will put a link to the icon page in the description below, and guys, that is going to be it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.